Hey guys, what's up? By Zach the Tron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one's talking about witches, mass witches to be specific, and how to defend them at Town Hall 9, 10, and 11, because those are all Town Hall levels that we're now seeing witches be popular at. So basically, this video is going to be going through just a few different tips. It's hard to, you know, build an anti-witch base, but there are certain aspects of the base that can definitely be set up to defend against it. And when we talk about mass witches at any of those three town hall levels, typically it will include a kill squad that may or may not have witches in it itself. It'll probably have a golem, some bowlers or heroes, and possibly some witches uh, that goes into the middle of the base to get the job done in there. But the main thing that makes this strategy popular is the witches going around the outside of the base to kind of roll the base up on a 180 going in each direction. And that can be tricky to defend because the, uh, the witches now have more hit points. They're hard to get down, especially moving in groups of three or four along the outside of the base. So in this video, we're going to talk a little, bit how, a little bit about how to defend those witches around the outside, as well as how to defend against some of the witches moving through the middle of your base and we'll get right to it. Starting with this first setup, this is kind of the Tesla uh, skeleton trap thing that kills everything, hopefully. Uh, not the best name there, but the idea is we're putting these small bombs around the Tesla here because those uh, can kill the skeletons. Now, hopefully the attack doesn't come straight at this uh, Tesla. Hopefully it's along the side uh, because if the golems go to it, it obviously won't do much. This has to be uh, just encountered by the witches as they move around the outside in groups of three or four. But if you put this at the right location on your base, not near an entry point, you can uh, probably have some success with this because what it will do is these bombs will kill the skeletons and the skeletons tend to travel together in large clusters. So one bomb will take out almost all the skeletons, exposing the witches for an easy kill, especially with how fast these Teslas shoot. They can take out any remaining skeletons and lock onto those witches very quickly. Um, might help to have like a mortar or something nearby. By the way, for mortars, keep those guys inside the base now if you can. Um, that would make their shelf life, uh, shelf life be a little bit longer before they go down. Because if they're on the outside of the base, the skeletons can get to them. But if they're within that first layer of walls, um, you're gonna they're gonna stay up a little bit longer because only the witches and anything like uh, wizards or bowlers, only those troops can target them, not the skeletons. So that will help out a little bit as well. But the main thing for this first one, um, you can see, actually has double up on the Teslas just to get the most damage to make this a really high area, a uh, high area kill zone for the uh, to kill witches. But the idea is these bombs, they're the main thing. They're not doing much else for your base anyway. Um, so put these guys possibly by a Tesla. You can have maybe two of these on your base and uh, put three on each uh, Tesla. And this might be successful. It's not completely tested or anything, but it seems like a good idea and uh, might be a good thing to try. Those bombs are good at killing the, uh, the skeletons for sure. They can take out you know, a full health skeleton. Uh, th those things are really squishy. Okay, moving on to this next one. Um, if you look at the range here, you'll see the bomb tower when uh, three tiles away from the wall cannot really even reach. It can barely reach, but not really. So the bomb towers, you can't put this far back, but the wizard towers, you can see you can. And the reason you might want to do this is because the witches have a range of, I don't know how many tiles, I think it's technically four tiles. The way I think of it is the witches can reach the wizard tower if it's that close to the wall. If there's two tiles between it, one, two, uh, the witches can reach that wizard tower. And for witches going around the outside of the base, once again, you typically don't want them to reach too many defenses. So putting uh, your wizard towers or something back there, that can definitely have a good impact and can make them get less value as they come around the outside of your base and leave more up. Uh, the wizard towers can reach those skeletons, so they can also kind of help combo with a Tesla trap, a small bomb area, or I uh, just have them on their own and they can still take out some pretty big groups of skeletons without being at risk themselves. For the bomb towers, keep those guys a little more central. And if you put like a giant bomb next to the uh, bomb towers, that can actually kill a full health witch, the combination of both these exploding. So think about doing that. The only problem is the giant bomb doesn't explode until one of the witches or something walks over it 
whereas this can go down to the skeletons themselves. Keep in mind the skeletons can't trigger traps, so it might be kind of an uneven detonation, which is why the double giant bomb might be more reliable if you throw these, uh, pretending these buildings were in the core. If you throw a double giant bomb set in the core, you can possibly kill a big group of witches um, if there's no golems or anything out in front. You have a good shot because you know the skeletons can't trigger anything. So uh, maybe the king will. That might be unfortunate. But if you're lucky, you'll get a, quite a few witches taken out with a double giant bomb set in the core of the base. Bomb tower is also good. But like I said, they can be triggered by the skeletons if they go down to a big group of them. So something to think about there. Bomb towers, wizard towers, mortars, all valuable defenses. Uh, for the point damage or for the splash damage rather that they do and then the bombs and the giant bombs also do that same amount of damage keep in mind spring traps actually are more valuable than you think against witches if you have those in high volume locations where you think witches will be coming through that can be a good idea too because like i said the skeletons don't trigger traps so a few of these spring traps right over here where are they at did i pass them here they are. A few of these guys somewhere in your base can go a long ways uh, to taking out uh, possibly a witch or two or uh, getting some bowlers, stuff like that, because the skeletons won't trigger them. Okay, finally, in this one, I'm definitely going to trademark if it ends up being successful because I just had this idea, once again, not really tested, but a little bit of a buffer right here, just some walls and uh, that three tile buffer that the witches can't shoot over this might be interesting for witches coming around the outside of the base if they start up kind of here um, after they take out that mortar they're not going to go all the way down here for the barracks now i guess you might have some trash buildings that could be foreseeable maybe you don't want to do that but uh, if you did have trash buildings i think even still some of the skeletons would run ahead and force the witches to attack a wall so this might be a good way to force those outside witches inside your base maybe even uh, kind of make these really spread out so there's less of a chance of the witches continuing to walk. Uh, once like these two go down, say, and the witches are right around this area, they might stop and target the wall. This could be a good way to force them inside the base. Like I said, you can have a giant bomb, a wizard tower, some splash damage waiting for them, but to stop them from rolling up your base, kind of coming around on the 180, this might be an effective way to do it. So uh, maybe try this out. The buffer area can have like one on each side of your base in locations where it's not a favorable place to enter the base would be a good idea. You don't want them to enter on some of these uh, different ideas because it makes them less effective if these are only uh, specifically intended to take out those witches that go in groups along the outside of your base. So you gotta be careful for just the entry disarming some of these traps. But anyway, that's uh, one idea there. Uh, once again, the uh, Tesla idea up there. Different stuff to think about when you're trying to defend witches at all these town hall levels. Hopefully this video can extend to all of them. And one last thing, when you're thinking about compartments, <clears throat> excuse me, when you're thinking about compartments, less compartments is not necessarily better. I know people often try to force the jump spell um, like, you know, have these kind of small compartments and force people to use two, sometimes even three jump spells. But that's not in your favor because if people are bringing the jumps, they're going to be able to control where their witches go. You're better off having big open compartments that still might require multiple jumps, but there's less predictable pathing in terms of where the witches are going to go inside the base. Same thing for like golems, bowlers, less predictability. Don't let them use those jump spells to kind of surgically make their way through your base. Have there be some uncertainty in terms of pathing um, on the inside of your base and on the outside using st strategies like the uh, buffer right here. Um, so try to mess people up that way. That's the best I can do. Hopefully this video helps. I want to say also let me know if the uh, the base builds are more helpful or if these kind of focused videos are more helpful because I want to give you guys the best defensive content I can. Uh, like I said, I'm doing my best to kind of address some of the best attack strategies. So let me know what other types of defensive videos you guys want to see and I will be coming out with some more periodically to continue to cover what is currently the attack meta at the, uh, at the war town hall levels. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I look forward to seeing your comments. Until the next video, Bisectatron out.